right, guys. It is Sunday morning. It's about 7 a.m. because I didn't get a video. Um, my youngest daughter, Daisy, got here yesterday um, from Lakewood, south by Denver, uh, with her boyfriend, Garrett. And my son, Quentin, showed up. That was a surprise. Uh, the boys are coming over today, Quentin and Austin. They're my twins. And we're having Thanksgiving today because I'm not going to be here. And... Um, Garrett's parents are going to be in Mexico, so Daisy and Garrett are going to be alone for Thanksgiving. And my daughter Dale's boys, uh, the older one's going to Mexico with his girlfriend's family, and the younger one, Brayton, is going to uh, Texas to see his sister. So Dale and her husband, Bobby, are going to be alone for the first time ever for Thanksgiving. So we decided to have it now, because I was supposed to go back on the road and head into uh, Pahrump, Nevada uh, on the 1st. But then Daisy and Garrett had a bunch of things going on in October. So she said, can you stay an extra week? And we'll come down that first weekend in November and we'll do Thanksgiving on Sunday. So that's today. Um, last night we, um, I made dinner. I made some pasta and peas, which was really good. And my grandson Brayton and I made a, well, we screwed up. He blames me. I blame him. We just made a poor man's toffee, crack candy. It's, you know, that saltine. You take saltines, melt butter and brown sugar together, and you're supposed to bake that. We forgot that part, but it came out well. It's not as hard as it should be, but it was it was really good. And uh, I got my little violet here, but uh, Daisy came up with their dog, um, Emmett. I showed you him before. Um, he's just a little over a year old, so him and Owen had a ball playing out back, running around. Um, he doesn't travel well, so they gave him a trazodone. So when he got here, he was a little bit still sleepy. But later on in the day, he took off because Owen, he couldn't even kept, stay up with Owen. Um, but he was actually, uh, he was giving Owen a run for his money. But it was so funny to watch them. They had so much fun together. And then we took a nice walk around the neighborhood last night. So I told Owen today that um, he can go out back and play with him again. So today we are making... What are we having for dinner? We're having a mostly vegan dinner. Um, butternut squash soup. My daughter Dale's making uh, lasagna roll-ups. Um, what am I making? What am I? Oh, I'm making um, sausage stuffed zucchini. And what else? We're having a bunch of sides. That's all da Daisy and Garrett cared about was what's on the menu for side dishes. Uh, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes. Brayton's making them. Um, macaroni and cheese, regular and vegan and cranberry sauce, you know, stuff like that. So um, I'll take some video of that and get some good pictures of our food. And I'm making our famous apple pie that my late son, Corey, used to make all the time, uh, Betty Crocker's Dutch apple pie, which my daughter and I had an argument in the store because she said French apple. It's Dutch apple. I will show her the recipe today in the cookbook that says Dutch apple. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, we're doing a photo shoot uh, with the little man. Elliot here and the kids, my younger three, because this was our dog, um, Daisy Quinton and Austin. Um, so he has been in their life more than half of their life, or just half of their lives. Look at this wild hair again. Um, and I'm gonna make sure I do a, you know, add Violet in there, and get some of the kids with with Owen too, even though he's not part of their family. But I mean, he's still family. But um, my three younger grew up with Elliot and Violet, and we got Elliot just. Um, few months after my son was killed. Um, so Elliot's been a big part of my grieving process and my grief journey. Whoops, sorry about it. And then we got Miss Violet here um, a couple years later down in Louisiana. She was like a drug deal. Uh, I went to buy dog food and uh, the lady said, what kind of dog do you have? I said, a uh, rat terrier. She goes, do you want a chihuahua? I said, what? She goes, do you want a chihuahua puppy? I'm like, uh, why? She was my grandkids have it. They're two and three, and they're beating the crap out of her. I said, yes, I'll take her. So we met on the side of the road, and I walked up to this lady's minivan, and she hands me this little blue plastic crate. And I take it out of her window, and she speeds off. I didn't even get to see what was in the crate or see what this little dog looked like. Well, this little teeny thing was just 12 weeks old. She was beaten so badly. It broke her spirit. She's never been a puppy. She's never played with toys. I've seen her just a 
not even a handful of times. I swear, like three times I've seen her pick up a stuffed toy and just play with it for like three seconds, and that's it. Right, Violet? Hmm? Um, so we get her in the car, and I look in the crate, and look at her, and I go to get her out, and she just goes ballistic. So you couldn't touch her. You couldn't touch her head. You couldn't touch her butt. You could touch her right here in the middle. That was her safe zone. So it took a, a long time for her to come around to know that she was safe and she wasn't going to be hurt anymore. So we're going to do a good photo shoot with her. And it was my daughter Daisy's birthday. So it, she's actually her dog. But when she went away to college, she couldn't take her. And, and she, she stayed with me. And she had already had her little head injury and her first cauliflower ear. So um, we're, we're going to have a good time today. Um, so I just wanted to pop on and catch you guys up to date on what I'm doing. I'm going to hit the road probably Monday. Daisy's leaving Monday. Daisy and Garrett. And um, so I'll probably leave early afternoon. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to get. Now, Perump's only nine hours from here. But I'll probably spend, because um, it's the first time I'm taking the truck for, you know, on the road since I just got my truck. Um, I, did I tell you guys that I already had it towed? I went to my doctor's appointment for my, what was it for? Oh, my shoulder. And um, I had pulled in, and I had the kayak that sticks out of the back, and I wasn't quite in the spot. So I jumped back in, I moved forward a little bit, and I kind of, I don't know, put it in gear, step in my, I don't know, but the truck lurched forward slightly, right? I'm like, damn, don't do that again. Can you drive much? So when I got back out after my appointment, it wouldn't start. It sounded like it was out of gas. I'm like, what the heck? And I hadn't yet put gas in it because I haven't been anywhere with it. And so I kept trying to start it and just sound like it wasn't getting any gas. So I called my daughter, Dale, and she comes out and she we put gas in it. And it still wouldn't start. And it's still doing the same thing. Sounds like it's out of gas. Um, and then kind of like a vapor lock, maybe. And uh, so I called the tow truck. Uh, they come. And well, I called the place where I bought it from. They said, well, bring it in, you know, drop it off. Uh, so the mechanic calls him. He says, you know, the tow truck guy said it started right up. I'm like, oh, and all I could think is, so why didn't he call me and tell me that? Because it would have saved me a tow. You know, it's covered by my insurance, but you only get so many a year. And it would have saved me a tow. And he said, it started right up here. So I told him what happened. And he goes, yeah, maybe it was, a, you know, a vapor lock or just something. But it's fine. He ran all the tests on it. You know, the fuel pump's fine. Everything's fine. So... It's been fine. So I talked to my son, Cole, and he said, maybe it was, um, maybe I flooded it. I'm like, I don't even think I stepped on the gas, Cole. He said, it doesn't matter. Maybe when it lurched forward, you know, the gas sloshed around or something. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm thinking maybe um, I should start with the obvious, maybe just change the first little fuel filter on it. So um, I'll figure out, I'll, I'll do that when I get some money coming in. Um, so that's... That, those are my adventures. So I will keep you posted on my travel back to Pahrump. I'm going to be in Pahrump probably about a month. And then I'm going to head over to Quartzsite um, for the winter. For December and January. And because the tent sale starts in January out there. And all my Nomad friends are texting me. When am I coming? We're getting our OG group back together. According to Chantel from my basic journey. I thought that was just so sweet. She says, how's my favorite Nomad vegan? And when are you getting here? So um, I'm excited to catch up with all my friends. And uh, I have my um, cooking show to do with Tracy. He's another nomad that I met out. I met him in Pahrump, actually. And we're doing a cooking show together. So that should be exciting. And uh, I'll have lots of content once I get back out there. So um, I hope you guys are doing well. And um, you know, I'll catch up with you on Wednesday about Thanksgiving dinner today. That'll be Wednesday's video. So guys, and thank you again for, for you know watching my videos. I really appreciate it. You guys have a good day.